Hello, this is Eric with Lawn Belt, and today I'm going to be taking you through the yard watering system, uh, which works uh, great with our Lawn Belt kits. It comes with two valves, and you can add two additional valves to it. Very easy to install, and it takes two AA batteries, which I will be showing you a little bit later on how to do. First thing we're going to do is uh, set our, our times. Um, so we would turn it to auto, check the time then slide it to clock, then use the plus and the minus buttons. Just click and hold. Sometimes it might take two clicks. And then press the middle button when you're done. Next, set the day. Use the left and right arrows for this. And when you're done, just press the enter button. Next we'll uh, adjust the start time. This would be for our first zone, or I should say cycle, uh, our second cycle, and our third cycle. A cycle is just setting more than one watering time per day. So you can have up to three different watering times in one day. And then to move to a cycle, you just press the right arrow. So this will set in the evening, or let's just set it for 1230. I wanted to mention too that this uh, timer waters each zone separately so that it doesn't uh, take all your pressure away all at one time. It starts off at zone one or station one and works through the rest of them uh, one by one. To fine tune it again, you just kind of sequentially click the minus or the plus button to get the exact time. Next, we're going to set the run time. Uh, this is the amount of minutes uh, each zone or station is going to be running. And typically for our uh, water saving kits, um, you want to water them longer. Uh, for the rotor kits and the regular pop-ups, about 30 minutes is about right. But for the, uh, the water saving kits, anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour is, is a good time. Also, let's say if we uh, program station three by accident and we actually don't have a station three, uh, I'll show you how to clear that. It's pretty easy. Just this clear button. And next, we need to tell it how often we're going to be watering. Um, it aut automatically waters every day. Uh, but we can change it if we only want to water, let's say, on certain days of the week. So here I'll show you how to do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Just using the right uh, arrow and then the uh, middle button. But if we want to clear this, we need to go back over to Interval. And uh, that clears out the, uh, the day settings. For example, if you wanted to water every other day, you'd set it to an interval of two, for example. So now we're done, and we can just check to see when the next watering time is going to begin. And it highlights cycle A uh, for about 18 hours from, from the current time. If we want to manually water, we can just hit the middle button again, and then set it to sequentially start all the stations uh, again, very easy. And to cancel a manual watering, we just turn it off. Um, if it's uh, raining and we want to set a delay to 24 hours, 48 hours, or even up to 72 hours, it's just a matter of pressing the plus button at the top. These functions have to be uh, enabled while the auto is turned on and canceled.
by turning to off again. So that completes our um, tour on that. Um, let's um, take a look at the unit itself. Um, you want to install the the valves in the in the middle, the the two uh, locations in the middle there are for the two valves, and then to add valves, you would do that to the left and right. You just simply plug in uh, with a wire to the back of the controller, and there's um, the stations are labeled there. And then the the system just slides right directly onto the the spigot. When the water is turned on, it won't uh, release the water uh, until the timing begins. So um, I just want to show you that. So now it's time to hook up the three foot garden hose from the sprinkler timer to the lawn belt, which would be in the ground, going to a ninety degree elbow. Very simple, just hook up each zone to each valve. And then I mentioned earlier, uh, we have two open ports on each side, and you can either add a valve to this and then wire it up to the controller, or I'll just simply attach a regular garden hose to them. So here we have the manual valve, which you can just simply turn off and on. And then on the left side, we have where the batteries are, um, two double A's last a full season long. Very simple. And then on the right side we have the exact same uh, black valve that you can turn off and on. So feel free to visit us at lawnbeltusa.com or you can email us at help at lawnbeltusa.com. Have a great day.